Okay, that's what we're going for today. That is some very loose packaging. There's the dot. USB charger. Micro USB connection. It's back in. Oh, a rubbery surface to it, non slip. Yeah, it's a lot more glossy than I thought it was. I thought it was a matte finish like that, but it's not. It's glossy. Not so sure about that. Hmm. There is the micro SD for charging it up, or powering it, should I say. And that's the audio output. Okay, we're all wired up. Beautiful. Now, what you need to do is launch the Alexa app, and it should discover automatically, apparently. Alexa just beeped. Oh, no, it's because you heard me say the name. Ah, so it does have a speaker in it. Wow. Okay. Hello. Your Amazon Echo Dot is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. Set up a new device, let's do that. Ooh, Echo Dot. Continue. Let's get your connect to Wi-Fi. Plugged in. Yep. It's all good to go. What? Oh, I thought it would remember what it already done. Right. Let's do that. Amazon. There it is. You've connected to Echo Dot. Go ahead and finish the setup in your Alexa app. Okay. Connect to Echo Dot. Continue. Okay. No Wi Fi networks have been saved. They have, though, which is strange. I have specifically said that. Okay. Um, all right. Okay, let's connect. Now I've got to enter the Wi-Fi a password. Specific artist. Okay, it's running Alexa, through now. For, you. Uh, for example, say Alexa. The tutorial. Enjoy your new Echo Dot from Amazon. Next. But I don't want to. I don't want to. Okay, Alexa, what's the weather like? In Rutledge. It's six degrees with partly sunny skies. Tonight, is pretty you can awful, expect intermittent clouds it's it's actually with a low one. of one degrees. That's all I want it for. I don't want it to play stuff. Uh, let's just skip all this. I'm going next, next, next. I'm skipping it. Okay, and so settings. I need to go to the dot. I've got two echoes and a dot. So I need to say the wake up command. Change that to... Uh, let's go with Echo. Okay, let's just save that out. Changing wake word. Okay, sweet! Now, what I want to do is position this in a sensible place. At the moment, it's on my kitchen table. Not ideal, but setup has been very, very easily done. Um, I mean, the manual is pretty slim. You've got page one, page two, and then basically plug in to your speakers. So yeah, but it was simple. Let's get it put in position. Now, one of the problems is Hoover's plugged in, Dyson Fan Eater's plugged in, Sonus Bar's plugged in, Wii U's plugged in, TV's plugged in, Skybox is plugged in, Apple TV 2 plugged in. Two sockets, multiple things, they've all been taken up. The question I've got, and I'm just gonna try this for you guys now and for myself, is will, it's a nine watt power. And I'm just wondering, can I just plug this into the USB on the TV? But I'm not sure it'll be powered when the TV's off, but we'll give it a go. Now, USB being five volt, um, you know, I don't know what that is in watts. But it's plugged in, and let's just turn the TV on. So it's not booting up with it on standby. So if we turn it on, does it even boot up? No, it doesn't. So that isn't going to work. So we're definitely going to need... Oh, it does come on. But obviously only when the TV's on. 
which isn't very useful. But it, it will, you can power it from your TV. So if you only wanted it on while your TV's on, it'll work. Or if you've got a TV, which supplies power to the USB when it's on standby, then you're Hello. in. Okay. Right, I plugged it into the Skybox. You can actually go into the back. But we had this, which is wirelessly connecting the Skybox. But I don't think we ever use any of the features. I'm going to find out from the good lady. Right, well that powers up and that sky box is actually on um, standby at the moment. So Hello. it's not actually powered up. It's powered up, but on standby. Excellent. So let's uh, move forward with a bit of testing on this. Right, I think I've inadvertently found a slight bug or design flaw. This system, all this encompasses in this area, will all shut down at 12.30 at night via the Lightwave RF switch. They're smart switches. Um, you just saw me change the name of it. If it's for iPhone ever focused, which is not going to, is it? I'm going to have to press the screen on it, aren't I? Awful things. Um, echo Dot back to Alexa, which isn't great, to be fair. Um, so it means if it's powered down. I can't find the answer to the question I heard. So if it's powered down, uh, it goes back to that name. So let me just change it again to done, save, changing a wake word. It is unfortunately stored on the device or rather, hmm, echo, turn off living room lights. Okay. There we go, works fine. So let's go over here and try it. Oh, don't want to knock my cup of tea off the old arm of the chair. Echo, turn on living room lights. Oh, look at that. So I can sit in my chair, um, once I've set up my lights, to actually be correct. Echo, turn off behind sofa lights. Okay. <sighs> the ultimate in automation. <laughs> Time for a cup of tea. So just for the sake of it, shall we... Uh, Get it to try and play some music. Echo, play me some blues music. 50 great blues classics from Amazon Music. So, I mean, the volume's very tinny, um, but at least it's got a speaker. I mean, the speaker's very tinny, but at least it has got a speaker. And I'm not gonna be using it for playing music, and I could plug it into my music system, but I'm not going to. I want it as a microphone, essentially. Echo, stop. Okay, so that's not stopped. Uh, I'm actually getting attacked by a dog whilst trying to record this. <laughs> now, being down there by the TV, I just thought it'd be a problem when the mu music's playing or the film's playing. But the Sonus bar is actually taking over the audio of the TV and it's projecting that sound from in front of the device. So it shouldn't get in the way, particularly apart from the fact that it may stop it hearing. Um, but we'll try that now. Okay, there we go, so now I'm playing, echo, 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 right, so let's go back here, echo, right, okay, so that's going to be an issue, cancel, echo, right, okay, it works, cancel, it works if it's that quiet, any louder and it won't work. So if you want to position it and you've got music playing, then that's going to be an issue if you still want to do something. So I might actually have to think about it again, repositioning it. Yeah, so plug it again and then plug everything back in again. And we can actually see this time whether or not this will now forget that its wake word is echo. Right in the corner. Turn that on. Boot it up. Yay. So the cable is actually a bit long now, so I'm going to have to get a smaller cable, I think, to run it around more tightly. It's all dangling down for where it is now. Okay, let's go to settings, echo dot. It has remembered the wait word. Okay, I have no idea why it didn't remember it the first time, but it has remembered it this time around. Right, let's retest with the uh, sound. So that's playing back on again, same music. And let's try this. Echo. 
turn off behind sofa lights. So that's a bonus already. Yeah. Living room lights, turn off. No. So, oh, oh, I'll let this, forget that. But it can actually hear, it can actually hear. So, music's on. Turn the volume up a bit. Echo. Echo. Turn off living room lights. And it turned it off. Spawn! Yay! Boom. Now, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to get into doing all the little skills and stuff it can do, because you can just look at that in the app if you get that. Um, I would also recommend looking at ifttt.com, which is where you can set up commands so it can do a load more stuff than just the skills. So if you haven't got the skills available on it for some of your smart devices, you may be able to do it through that. So take a look at that. And we've basically skimmed over this and the general overview of what it can and can't do. I've got it because I want it to operate my Lightwave RF system, which is sockets and um, lights. That's why I've got it. Um, the Echo is in the, start up again, is in the kitchen, which is no good for operating the lights within the living room. So you almost need a dot. To understand the question I heard. You almost need to get a dot for each significant room where you want to be running commands, really. And it integrates really, really seamlessly. So I've got uh, the echo in the kitchen and I've got the dot here and I probably if this works out okay and it seems reasonable and it works out over a long period of time I might get one for a couple of other rooms as well but I hope this has helped please like and subscribe and if you've got any questions on this at all let me know and I'll try and answer them in the comments and if it's stuff I don't know the answers to I will go and try and find out or even do another video trying to do it if I've got time cheers guys bye Okay, just uh, pause that a second. Just started uh, watching Game of Thrones, but don't want that light on and the rear lights on. So, uh, Echo, turn off living room rear lights. Okay. Lovely. Back to it.